Hello everybody. Good morning. Hi guys. Just getting set up. Just having a few technical difficulties. Nothing new there. Hello everybody. Hope you're all okay. How are you? Hello guys. I put my yellow jumper on today because I'm hoping that the sun will come out and it seems to have worked. The sun seems to be coming out today. Have a look outside your window. Have you got the sunshine today? I hope you do. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Hello. Really nice to see you. I hope you're all okay. Hello, hello, hello. Not so summery. It's actually a very thick, warm jumper. <laughs> Sunny. I've gone for sunny and trying to radiate the sunshine because um, it was very cloudy yesterday, but it seems to be sunny today. I think it's worked. I think my bright yellow sunshine jumper has definitely helped the sun to come out today. Oh, some people are saying that they haven't got sunshine. Oh, dear. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Okay, I'm going to get started, guys, because... Um, it's going to be a nice, quick and easy one. I've had lots of questions this morning. It seems to have caused a bit of uh, difficulty. No problem. Uh, yes, it seems to have caused a little bit of worry. And there's never any need to. Shallow tray of water. By that, I meant a baking tray of water. Small bowl. I'm using this. Just some, something with water in. You don't need loads. We're not getting in it, hopefully. Uh, doesn't need to be a tough spot or anything like that. No, just a small um, tray of water. Oh, hello from Rowan, who is starting the pre-writing skills course today with Mummy. Oh, will you let me know how you get on? I love hearing how people are getting on with that. Thank you. Yeah, if you wonder what it is, we've got the pre-writing skills online course on the Play Ray website, if you're wondering. <laughs> okay, so shall we get started this morning? You will need pens, or a pen is fine. Some paper, paper for this one, card will not work. It just about works with paper. I had a panic this morning when I was practicing, and it wasn't really working properly, but I've worked out how to make it work. I've worked out how to make it work. So pens, Paper, card will not work. You're going to need some scissors that you can use. And you're going to need a shallow bowl of water. So, shallow bowl or something, but you're going to need... The reason why I said a shallow tray or bowl is just because it's wider. We want quite a large surface area. Okay, so that's what we're going to do this morning. So, while your grown-ups have gone to get your pens, your scissors, your paper, and your shallow bowl of water, um, I'm going to show you something. Look, I've got some, I've got some flowers. Actually, this one, this one is a lovely yellow golden colour and it's very much like my jumper, isn't it, today? Lovely and yellow and golden. Quite a fluffy one. It's really nice, isn't it? I've got some more flowers, actually. I'd love to say that they've come from my garden, but they haven't. These are what we use to play with when we do garden centres and growing and things with Mason. And I've got lots of different flowers here. Some roses, some tulips, some... Here it is. I'm just having a guess now. I've got lots of lovely colours. Can you see them? Can you see the flowers? It's tricky getting them on both. So I've got a lovely golden one there. I've got a nice pink rose there. A very soft pink rose. I do like these. They're always nice to see those when they're out and about. But they get very spiky on their stems, don't they? I've got a lovely tulip and it's got it's really nice, this one, because it's all yellow at the bottom and then it goes to an orangey red at the top. Almost a bit like fire, isn't it? Looks like it would be really hot. And then I've got a lovely pink flower here. And it's always nice when we're out and about. We don't need to pick flowers, do we? We don't need to pick them. But just sometimes it's nice to see beautiful different colour flowers when, if you're in the garden or if you're out walking somewhere and just to give them a little smell. But I know lots of people are suffering with hay fever at the minute. My, one of my friends is really struggling. But it's always nice to see the flowers when you're out and about. I love doing flowers. We actually made a couple of flowers a couple of weeks ago, if you were joining me then. And it's really nice to look at flowers. And today we're going to make some flowers, but we're going to make some very special flowers. 
because these are called quiet flowers. And when I had a go at making them this morning, they only work if it's quiet. So you're gonna have to make sure when we do the flowers today that you're nice and quiet. Do you think you can do that? Do you think you can have a go at making some quiet flowers, Miss B? Okay. They're a little bit magic, so that's why I thought you'd like them. I thought it'd be nice to do. It's all right. <laughs> I've got a dog watching me today. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna make some lovely flowers. Okay, so if you would like to take your paper, and like I said, it does need to be paper rather than card, okay, for this to work. And all we're going to do is we're going to just choose one of our pens. You can decorate it and colour your flower later. Look, there's all sorts of different colours you might want to do for your flowers. But for now, we're just going to have a go drawing it. You can always decorate it if you're going to do some more flowers later. I'm just going to show you how, how, the, um, how it works. I'm going to go for this golden yellow colour because it matches my jumper. It matches my flower. What colour flower are you going to do? You find a pen because we're going to have a go at drawing a flower first of all. I really could do get an, an easel for doing my lines, couldn't I? Like here. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a go. I'm going to draw my flower and then I want you to have a go at drawing yours. So I'd really like you to, first of all, use your eyes to watch my flower before you start drawing your flower. Is that okay? Because there's a special way we need to draw it. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. I'm going to draw my flower and then you can draw yours. Okay. So first of all, when we draw our flower, we're going to be a very basic flower. We're going to put a nice big circle in the middle, but we're going to leave lots of room around the outside to put our petals on because the petals are very, very important. So I'm going to do a nice circle in the middle of my paper. It looks like a flower. It looks like the sunshine. It looks like a ball. It looks like lots of things. Can you have a go at drawing a circle in the middle of your paper? Not too big, not too small, just in the middle. We need lots of room to, because we're going to put our petals on around the edge. Can you have a go? That's it. So draw a nice medium size. Should we say medium size circle in the middle of your paper? Okay. <laughs> I haven't got enough hands this morning. Let me see if I can rest on my knee. Right, there we go. That's a bit easy. Okay. And then it's my go again before it's your go. Okay. So watch what I'm going to do. And then I want you to have a copy as well. Now this bit is quite tricky. So we're going to take our time and do it nice and slowly. And what we're going to do, we're going to draw some big round petals on our flower. And they need to be quite big because we're going to be cutting these out. They're too small. It makes it really hard to cut. So I want some nice big petals going around our flower. Now they certainly don't need to be perfect. And grown-ups, I would really like the boys and girls to have a go at doing this for themselves. So can you see? I know, I got art and art A level. You wouldn't believe it, would you? <laughs> My, my uh, old teacher never sees this. So I have to draw a pretty flower on my paper. I've done a circle in the middle, and then it's really important that your petals go around the edge and nice and chunky because we're going to be cutting these out. I've done one, two, three, four, five petals on my pet on my flower. So you have a go. It's okay, I have a five-year-old sneaking behind me to go and get food because he knows that I'm on a live and so I can't stop him. He used to do this when he was a toddler. So I've got a nice big circle and then I've got my pretty petals going all the way around the edge. Now for now, I've just done it a yellow flower, but we can decorate later, especially if you're going to have a go at doing more of these. Now comes the tricky bit, guys. You know what's going to happen, don't you? Snip, snip, snip. We need to cut out our flowers. So this is going to be tricky because this is a really hard shape for us to cut. So just like we always do, we're going to take our time. Now, grown-ups, I would like you to help if you can because we do actually need to cut out the petals. So if they do as much as they can, and then maybe you can always help out. And you can see what I mean once we've done it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my time and use my scissors to cut on the line. We're going to cut out our flower. Try not to cut any of your petals off because you need those 
to make our flower work in the water. Mm. Okay, so I'm just very carefully cutting around the petals on my flower. Thank you very much to the people who have sent stars on my live on Facebook. That's very kind of you. Yes? Um, I can't, darling. I'm doing this. You're going to have to wait. Okay? Yeah. Just watch out because there's a bowl of water there. Hello. <laughs> Mason, my little boy is here. He's just saying hello. He can't reach what he wants out of the cupboard. Funny that, isn't it? Yeah. He's only just had his hey, breakfast. Hearts. That's nice. People are sending hearts, isn't it? So we're just cutting out our flowers. Can you see? Can you see this? I'm cutting out, Mason. Yeah. Yeah, cutting out some flowers. For our, for our activity today. For, for the doctors. Doctors? Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? We could give it to the doctors. Yes, to say, to say, hope, hope we get the virus. <laughs> no. Mm. no, we don't want to say that, do we? We want to say thank you for your help with the virus. Thank you for your help with the virus. Is any of you a doctor? Anyway, we're going to do our activity now. Oh, Mason, you're giving me the giggles. I need the food. I know. No, you can wait a minute. No, I really need the food. I'm really hungry. You're fine. You can go get fruit. No, I don't want. I don't well, want. then you'll have to wait, please, Mason. No, I'm going to. It's something in the corner. Give me a second, guys. Hello, sorry about that. <laughs> what is that? I do apologise, he didn't mean that. Oh dear. Oh dear, little slip up. The joy of working live with children. Okay, so hopefully, the <laughs> reality, yeah. <sighs> right, hopefully you've managed to cut out your flower now. Don't worry if not, take your time. You take your time, okay. And I'm going to show you how we're going to make our flower. I'm going to snip that bit. I haven't quite gone into the centre. Now then, took a few attempts this morning for this one, so do bear with me. Okay, so now we need to get our water. There we go. And I'm going to use my water. I'm going to have to hold it up so you guys can see it, aren't I? I feel like I can do it stopping and starting again today. Never mind. Okay, so I'm going to put it there. So I will lift it up so that you can see it. What we're going to do with our flower. Now, can you remember what I called them? I called them our, our <laughs> I call them our quiet flowers, and they only work if it's quiet. Okay, so when you do this bit, you need to make sure that you're really quiet. Yeah? Okay. Grown-ups, I hope that's a help to you. But pull this out next time. You just need a quiet time. Yeah? So here we are, we've got our flowers. Now all we're gonna do is very carefully going to fold over the petal. So I'm going to fold the petal into the middle. Now you only want to pinch it, you don't push it down too hard, okay? So you're going to fold over your petals. Now you need to do this bit quietly. It's important that we're quiet for this bit. So I'm going to put over our petals, okay? All I've done is just pinch them, it's fine. I, I really creased them before, it didn't quite work. Okay, so what we're going to do now, can you remember I told you that these uh, flowers can magic? only work if it's quiet, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to put our flower with the petals facing upwards, petals facing upwards, we're going to put our flower into the water and watch what happens. Very slowly, if you're quiet enough, your flower will start to open. Can you see it? The petals will start to open. But you have to be really quiet, otherwise it doesn't work. Can you see my... Can you see my flower? It's starting to open now. Has anyone done yours? 
it's yours working. It's yours working. If it's not, you might have maybe you need to be a bit more quiet or you've maybe creased it too much, just a tiny pinch. Remember I said about that tiny pinch? And your flower should be opening. Yeah. Stay really quiet. Now you might need to mine keeps going to the side, so you might just need to push it back into the middle if it hasn't got room to open out. you but can you remember what I said you have to be really quiet they don't work if it's noisy no they won't work if it's noisy it needs to be really really quiet and your throat will open yeah very exciting isn't it now then what's really nice about these is that you can put on when you do your flower <laughs> I've got a very wet flower when you do your flower you could write in the middle a secret message couldn't you you could write in a secret message or you could decorate your flower with lots of beautiful colours. We've just done ours quickly, but I think I'd really like you to have another go at doing another flower. Maybe you could decorate it, maybe put a secret message on in the middle so when it opens up, someone can read it. And you have a pot. Oh no, Emily. You've not been quiet enough, Emily. That's now just try to read. Are you pinching it? Make sure you pinch it. Don't crease it. Just, just a small pinch. And it will open up. Perfect. It does work. It does work. Promise. Promise. Okay. All right. Well done, guys. Someone's saying, can you do the folding part again? I literally just pinched it. Okay, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to draw a very quick flower. Okay. Draw your flower. Very basic. Nice big. Cutting out the speed of light. Someone let's see it again. I wonder if maybe your petals are overlapping too much. I'm not sure. I've got lots of people it has worked for, which is really lovely to hear. Okay, so out my flower very quickly. When you fold it over, just pinch it. Just pinch. Pinch. Pinch, pinch, okay. And then we'll try it again. Second attempt works. Yeah, you've just got to make sure that you're quiet enough. You obviously weren't being quiet enough. there then guys maybe you could carry um, some more flowers you could decorate them make them look really pretty and if you've got a whole water tray or bath or sink you could do lots of little flowers in at the same time couldn't you could be really nice anyway thank you very much for joining me today i'm sorry if it's not worked for you i'm not sure um, is it is it paper are you using card i don't think card would work it needs to be paper and really just pinch, just a pinch is work but make sure yeah you're nice and quiet for it all right thank you very much for joining me today tomorrow if you are joining me tomorrow for um the activity you need to be in your pajamas because tomorrow is book trust day it's pajama rama day so they have asked us to be in our pajamas tomorrow so if you would like to join me tomorrow for an activity please make sure you're wearing your pajamas right then okay nice to see you Thank you very much for joining me today. Do send over any photos you've got of your quiet flower. But remember, you've got to be very quiet when you do them. Grown-ups, you owe me one for that one. All right, thank you very much for today. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, happy playing.